Local manufacturing assembling automobile company Kantanka is to go electric by mid-2020. In an exclusive interview with the CEO of the Kantanka group of companies, Kwejo Safo Jr., he stressed the introduction of VW and Nissan assembling plants onto the Ghanaian market is never a threat to the company as many perceive it to be. Judge Quinin has more. Many have touted achievements of the Kantanka Automobile Company Limited as one that projects Ghana globally. The company is in the news after it introduced an aeroplane car after its 39th exhibition. Concerns by many are whether these vehicles produced are prototypes or for exhibition purposes. According to the CEO of the Kantanka Group of Companies, Kojo Safu Jr., the time is coming where individuals will start placing orders for such vehicles as experienced in the Western world. If you look at certain models of vehicles that are running our streets now, if you were told about 10 years ago that those cars were going to be commercialized and used now, you were like, no, oh, that's crazy. But look at the cars that we have now in town. Look at the cars we drive now. If you look at all these car brands and vehicles, they look at how consumers or how people are going to accept certain designs, brands in a few years to come. May 2020, he disclosed, will see the local manufacturing automobile company going electric. We are even going to do Aboboya, those three tires, and they are going to be electric. That's the thing. That's the, what we are going to beat, whatever competition that is coming into this country, because we are going to move quickly into electric vehicles, whereby we will install a lot of uh, substations all over the country that, I mean, you can drive about 100 kilometers before you can before you want to charge. And there's this system that we are even going to introduce whereby as the vehicle runs, the battery automatically charges. On the introduction of VW and Nissan assembling plants onto the Ghanaian market, Kojo Safu Jr. explained that these automobile giants don't come as a threat, but a springboard for excellence. Well, meanwhile, CEO of Kantanka Group of Companies, Kwejo Savo Kantanka Jr., has explained that pricing of their vehicles will see a drastic reduction if the duty component on vehicles, though manufactured here in Ghana, is removed. Uh, he expects the automobile policy, which has already been introduced, to be implemented so they have a level playing field with competitors. Most Ghanaians have chastised the local manufacturing automobile company for pricing their vehicles on the high. Though these vehicles are manufactured and assembled in Ghana, a major concern by the company is the duty component on these vehicles. If the duty component is removed, CEO of the Kantanka Group of Companies, Kojo Safo Jr. explained, will affect pricing. If I sit down as a CEO, and decide to let my team bring me the kind of comments I receive on social media, the kind of um, criticisms that we receive on social media. And all that, yes. We have a 1.5 cc engine. Aside that, if you look at those vehicles, the kind of people that are buying our vehicles now Number one, as I said, is the government. You have a lot of people in this country where you think they want to afford or they want to buy little cars. Ghana, yeah, yeah, pre for. That's the truth. The people in this country, the country doesn't have money, but people in the country have so much money, they want to live luxurious lives. He mentioned the company has the capacity to meet local demand. So far, government is the highest buyer of Kantanka vehicles, with 400 vehicles procured in 2019. Kojo Safu Jr. expects government to implement the automobile policy, which has already been introduced, to give a level playing field to all stakeholders in the industry. They can do whatever they want to do with their pricing. But Kantanka is still going to survive. We have a few tricks up our sleeves that they don't know. I mean, they are coming to the jungle. And I'm the king of the jungle here. So definitely, <laughs> you cannot come into my house and try and outsmart me in my home. That's why I I'm still pushing. And I was pushing for the policy to favor Ghanaian companies more than outside companies. If you put us on the same playing level, it's not fair.